delivering plates to the table. So by now, you know how to carry plates. Have you been practicing with lemons? You have an understanding of the pass and you are ready to pick up the plates with your service cloth in hand. In this lesson, we'll be looking at one of the most important tasks of service, handling the precious cargo that is a dish for the guest. We'll be looking at these main points. Timing, picking up plates at the pass, and placing plates on the table. Let's start with timing when delivering plates. It is very important that the dishes are delivered to guests in a timely manner. Starters must be served within 15 minutes of the order being placed, and main courses must be served within 20 minutes of the starters being cleared. Next, let's look at picking up plates at the pass. You'll remember from the lesson on the pass that it is the crucial point where the dishes pass through before reaching the guest making it a very high stress environment. Use your docket to make sure which dishes are going out to which guests in which position number. You should check that the plate is clean, correct and complete. All the ingredients are there. You don't want to place the plate in front of the guest only to realize the potatoes aren't on there. Catastrophic. Double check for any dietary requirements such as allergens to ensure the requirements were met. Pick up the plate so that when you place it in front of the guest, it is the way the chef intended. For example, if the chef meant for the meat to be at 12 o'clock and the potatoes at 3 o'clock, you should ensure that you pick it up on the side of the plate that allows you to place it in that way in front of the guest. If you have many dishes to deliver, ask a colleague or colleagues to help carry the plates. This way, the dishes can be placed in front of each guest at the same time, creating a beautiful sense of ceremony. Let's move on to placing plates on the table. Now you need to get the dishes to your guests quickly. If you have a server per guest, ensure that the plates are placed down in front of each guest at the same time. You can do this by observing your colleagues and your colleagues observing you. If you use branded crockery, ensure that your establishment's logo is in the correct position. If you are carrying two plates, place the ladies' plate down first, using open body language. Remember to keep both dishes well away from the guests' heads, just as with trays. Give a short description of the dish to each guest, simply saying what it is, so that the guest knows that they have received the correct dish. For example, Mrs. Jones, the wild mushroom salad with braised chicory. Enjoy. Remember to use the guest's name, confidently name the dish and invite the guest to enjoy it. To recap, we've looked at these main points. Timing, picking up plates at the pass and placing plates on the table. Good luck delivering dishes to your guests like a professional. Carrying plates. Let's take a look at how to carry plates like a professional. The art of carrying plates involves a few simple steps. These steps are very easy to practice and before you know it, you'll be a master at carrying plates. The plate carrying skills we'll look at are holding two plates in one hand, holding three plates, using a waiter's hand, walking with plates and planning ahead. Firstly, let's look at holding two plates in one hand. The best place to start is carrying two plates in one hand. You will need this skill when you are carrying a plate in each hand and find that you need a free hand, perhaps to remove something, seat a guest or widen the cutlery at a table setting. So, to carry two plates in one hand, Make your little finger and thumb into a L shape and place the one plate securely with your middle three fingers underneath and thumb and little finger on top. You can then place the second plate on your wrist on top of your thumb and little finger. 
Ensure that your hands touch the border of the plate as little as possible to prevent fingerprints. The rim underneath the plate provides extra grip for your fingers to hold the plate securely. As always, ensure that you keep the plate level to keep the plating perfect. Next, we'll look at how to carry three plates. If you have an upbeat, busy service style, you may need to carry three plates at once. To do this, simply hold two of the plates in one hand and pick up the third with your free hand. You'll need to think ahead and be extra careful when carrying three plates since you'll no longer have a free hand. Number three. Let's take a look at using a waiter's hand when carrying plates. To carry hot plates without burning your hands, hold the plates using two neatly folded service cloths or waiter's hands. Ensure that before service there are enough of these cloths folded ready for when you pick up plates. To fold the cloth, open it on a clean surface. Fold the left side of the cloth in towards the center fold. Repeat on the right. Now, fold the cloth in half to hide the edges of the cloth. Next, fold the bottom end of the cloth about a third of the way up. Fold the top end of the cloth to meet the bottom end, leaving a slight gap for the fold. Next, let's look at walking with plates. When you are walking with plates during service, you need to be very aware of the plates and your surroundings. Look ahead for obstructions such as a swing door, a wandering guest, or a frantic colleague. If a guest bumps into you, it is always your fault. If you need to walk through a tight space, or pass a colleague, simply place the one plate beneath the other while keeping both level. You're then able to create more space and maintain control over both your dishes. Can you remember what the rule is for passing colleagues in the dining area? The rule is to always pass colleagues on the right. The same is true when carrying plates. It is also wonderful detail to hold them slightly lower down when walking through the restaurant so that the other guests can see the wonderful dishes. They may even be intrigued enough to ask you questions about the dishes, allowing them to make a more informed menu choice. What service? It is very important that when you are carrying plates, you take them directly to their position. Don't put them down anywhere in the dining room, or stand around uncertainly. Before you leave the pass, you should know exactly which plate is going to which position. Finally, let's look at the importance of planning ahead. If you have a style of service where you must always place plates from the right, it is particularly important that you think ahead. You know that you must serve ladies first and that you must serve the guest with open body language. So, if you need to serve a lady from the right with open body language, her dish must be in your right hand. So to recap, in this lesson we looked at holding two plates in one hand, holding three plates, using a waiter's hand, walking with plates, and planning ahead. Now that you've seen how to carry multiple plates, you should start practicing it. Start with carrying empty plates and then practice with something on the plate, such as lemons, trying to keep them as still as possible. If you can master carrying something around, you are well on your way to carrying meals like a professional. Good luck!